in this video I'm going to talk you through nets. For my first example, I have drawn a cube. Okay, this is a cube, it's a 3D shape, and all of the edges are exactly the same length. Just afterwards, I've drawn an example of a net. So a net is this shape flattened out. So if you were to cut along some of the edges of a cube and lay it out flat, it could end up looking like this. Okay, you've probably seen a cardboard box before you folded it. It would look something like this net. Okay, here there are some other nets because you can draw a net of a shape in several ways. Hopefully you can see when you fold all the faces of a cube here back together, it creates the shape that you started with. Okay, here likewise, if you were to fold all of these sides back together, it would give you a cube. Okay, so I've drawn a few different versions of the same net. There's one, however, that isn't a net of a cube. So you can't just draw these squares in any old place, okay? This one here, hopefully you can see that if you were to fold these back together, these two would end up overlapping. And here, this is a solid shape. There are no open sides, okay? So this one was a trick net okay that one is not a net of a cube in my next example I have drawn a cuboid okay so it's quite similar to the cube except this time it consists of some rectangular faces not all the edges are the same length and here I have drawn a net okay so remember there's more than one way of drawing a net so it doesn't have to look like this but this is typically how I would draw a net and this is how I would teach my students to draw nets okay I would start by drawing the base okay of this cuboid so when I say the base I mean this one here okay the one that touches the ground okay so you can see the dimensions of this rectangle three by six centimeters so I would start by drawing that rectangle there okay three by six next I would suggest to draw the ends okay these are nice easy ones you can see they're opposite each other okay this one is three by four and so is this one three by four so here because this length is already three along the base this height must be four okay so I've got a rectangle here and exactly the same size rectangle below attached to the base of the cuboid next we have the sides that fold like this so you can see this time the dimensions are four by six okay and again the face that's opposite that one is also four by six so you can start by drawing those rectangles on here four by six four by six okay so you can see now we've got the base the two ends, four by three, and then these two, which are op opposite each other, the two sides that fold up like that, okay? Notice how these lengths here, four and four, they're the same. This is really important. When you fold those pieces back together, this should be in line with this edge. So they have to be the same length. So if when you draw your net, this is three and this is four, that's incorrect and you can lose marks, okay? So you can see there are six faces all together. So far, we've only drawn five. So the last one here is the top of the cuboid, okay? That makes six faces all together and it should be the same as the base, okay? You can see the base here, three by six, is the same as the one directly above on top, three by six. So this one is also three by six. So my diagram is a little bit messy. I haven't used a ruler, it's not to scale. When you do an exam, they will usually give you a square grid of one centimeter by one centimeter, and you would need to draw the net upon this. They might start you off and draw one or two of the faces, and you would need to finish it off. Last but not least, I've drawn a triangular prism, and over here, I've drawn the net. Just like in the previous example, start by drawing the base of the prism first. So here's the base, it's this rectangular shape, six by seven, that touches the ground. So here's that rectangle, six by seven. 
Then you can either add on the rectangles or the triangles. It doesn't really matter which order you draw them. So let's draw the rectangular faces that fold up like this next. Okay, so this one is five by seven. And so is this one. Okay, they're identical. We can see it's an isosceles triangle. If this is five, so is this length. So here are the two rectangles, five by seven. Then we've got the triangles to add on at the end. Remember that isosceles triangles, these lengths are five, this one's the same, and the base is six. So all that's left to do is add those on. Just do a little check at the end to make sure you've done the correct number of faces. In a triangular prism, you've got five faces, and we've drawn five shapes over here, okay? I hope you found that lesson on it's helpful. Stay tuned for new lessons coming soon. And if you want to request any new topics, just leave me a comment on YouTube or send me a message on Instagram and I will try my best to get back to you.